Testing one, two, testing one, two. Okay, I have um, launched the QuickTime movie recording capability of my iPad mini with Retina display. And um, as of today, which is the 4th of February, 2015, I have updated all the software on the uh, iPad mini display, uh, Retina display, and uh, I have updated all of the firmware on my A2 uh, flight controller. Everything is up to date with the latest uh, updates from DJI, and all of the uh, firmware and Bluetooth firmware, uh, both for the ground end and the air end of the um, data link is all updated with the latest. And um, what's happening uh, at, right at this moment is that I have um, turned on uh, my uh, Futuba transceiver and I have uh, turned on my <clears throat> Hexacraft with the A2 flight controller and the data link air end and everything is on. I calibrated the uh, compass and I've got uh, about looks like around well I haven't I haven't checked it yet but I, I think I've got around 10 um, satellites connected to to this because I'm not getting any any red flashes at all. So I'm getting, you know, the proper uh, GPS signal that's required. Now, I'm going to, and, and I've also turned on the ground station uh, end uh, transceiver. I've, I've got that uh, ground end uh, powered up, and I'm, I believe I'm connected via Bluetooth to that. So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to launch the ground station. Now you won't be able to see me, you know, my fingers doing this, but I will explain to you everything that I do as I do it. I'm going to go ahead now and click on the ground station. As you can see, it is opening up. It says location accuracy. Turning on Wi-Fi will improve location accuracy. Well, I have my Wi-Fi turned off on my iPad because wherever I'm going to be using this, I'm not going to be able to get any Wi-Fi signal. So I've got the Wi-Fi turned off. All right, I'm going to click OK here. And um, as you can see, it automatically goes in and it, and it connects right up to the uh, ground station end without even searching or anything. It goes right in, connects, logs in and everything. There isn't even any kind of a, a login screen or anything. Let me um, go into the settings here. Um, this is my account. Everything is on except for the flight simulation mode. I haven't turned that on yet, but I just want to show you, you know, what things I do have on. Everything, you know, is on here and as, as I normally use it. Uh, so, what I would like to do now is uh, go back here and, and move to the um, geographic uh, satellite mode and and show you exactly where I am and what the uh, the iPad is is reporting and showing you and what the data link is reporting to the iPad now if I if I put this uh, right here like that I can't zoom in anymore but that is uh, exactly it looks like you know it's a perfect match to where the uh, the hexacopter and the ground end actually is, in, you know, in relationship to me, it says that it's about two meters from me, and that's almost almost right. It's it's closer to about three meters to where I actually am, but that it's showing that it's uh, you know 2.2 meters from me, and that's yeah, that's pretty good. Um, the height is showing about one meter, and and that's pretty good too. Uh, everything looks good here right now okay now 
when I go into the simulation mode, this is where things get a little bit weird. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Stephen, don't say anything, please. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and open up the, uh, the settings menu. I'm going to click on Flight Simulator. Now, I get this notice that comes up. Do not activate the simulation mode during flight, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I understand all of that. I click OK, and it comes back again. All right, now, this is the, the first error that I notice when I go into the simulation mode. I get this notice comes up twice. Okay, I see other people doing this online, and they don't seem to have that problem. So that's, that's the first, you know, error message that I see that I get. Now, I'll click on it again. Okay, and... After I've clicked on it, you can see that I'm going to close up this setting window. You can see that the uh, craft has moved, which was its original position was 3 meters from me. It has moved to 17.4 meters away from me now. So it's no longer in the original location that was... Uh, showing when I first started the ground station. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a single waypoint. I will click on the uh, waypoint um, graph graphic, single waypoint graphic, and I will set a waypoint here. Okay, and you know, the height and speed and all that good stuff is, is okay for me. Uh, for simulation purposes, it doesn't make any difference. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on Go. Okay. So, it transmits the information over. And it begins to, it looks like it starts to, to, to fly because the height uh, is getting higher and higher and higher. Um, now it says it's switching. Okay, it looks like it, it must have gone up, started taking off, went up to about 3.5 meters. Now it's climbing up higher and, and heading over to the waypoint. Um, if I look at my, my home point, it's like dead on uh, where, where my uh, ground end is located. It's, it's dead on where I am. And that's not a problem. Okay. So I'm flying over, I get to uh, target distance 1.2, 1 1.0, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0.1, and bingo. Okay, I'm right on 0, 0.0 meters target distance. Okay, so now I say, okay, I want to go home. All right, so I click on the go home and it shows you a home which is you know even different than where it was originally it, it, it has even changed and I'll just go in and say okay well let's just use that for now and I'll click go it says switch to go home but if you notice the height goes down, 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 and all it does is it lands. It goes down to zero, and it has landed at the waypoint that it was on. Now, if I try to click on cancel, okay, to cancel this out, or just, let me, let me first of all, let me just click off this window here, this little uh, information window. And let me go to cancel. Okay, I get a message that says fails to hover. Okay, did you see that? I'll, can I'll click on it again, cancel. It says failed to hover. All right, now I can keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. And um, I don't get anywhere, basically. So, what do I do? Well... I don't have any real options here except to go in into uh, you know this this mode here and turn off flight simulator, which I don't really want to do. 
So what are, what are my other options? Um, well, let's go back here. What I normally have been doing up to this point is is that I, I take my GPS, uh, you know, attitude uh, mode settings, you know, flight mode settings on my transceiver, and I flip it into attitude mode and then back into GPS mode. Okay, switch to attitude GPS. Now, the craft is still uh, landed on the ground uh, in the in the area that uh, you know went to for the first waypoint. It's, still, it's just sitting there. Uh, I can now have access to my other um, settings up at the top of the ground station uh, software application. I can get into the manual mode, waypoint modes. Everything has has come back to me for that. Um, so let me, what I, what I can do is I can go here and I can click on the, uh, the manual mode, okay, and um, it gives me a little screen here, and um, it says push button, okay, so if I, if I do push, well, it doesn't really give me my, my flight control, let me see, push button, what happens here? Okay, now now the the manual controls have come up. Um, also, uh, I wanted to say that the uh, Bluetooth unit LED on on the flight controller on the A2 is blinking one two blue flashes, you know blue flashes times two on the craft. It's just blinking blue. But let's just say now that. Um, I decide I want to um, go up, uh, fly up, and bring the bring the aircraft up a ways. Okay, so now the the aircraft is uh, is going up. I'm at about uh, about looks like about I can't read it very well here because the the little green dotted lines are I don't know what that says, but I'm about According to this, about maybe 48 meters now that I've gone up. All right, so let's say now that I, I switch, I, I, now that I'm hovering, okay, I'm up and I'm, I'm basically just hovering. I'm going to hit the go home button and say go. Okay, so it's switching to go home and now it's coming home. I'm going to close this little window here so we can see it going to the location. Now it gets to the to the home uh, icon, home location, and now it begins to. Um, begins to come down I get my little graphic that shows it landing I'm gonna cancel that okay so I'm canceling and that switches to hover okay that seems to be all right now those those things um, you know are working okay there let's say I want to put in a multiple um, flying mode or, or you know multiple route Okay, let's let's pop this off. Okay, um, and go to and, and again, I'm still in flight simulation mode here. Okay, I'm hovering at about 15.2 meters. Let's let's take out a circle here, and uh, and let's basically um, move that circle right around here. Let's say I want to fly around this, make it a little bit smaller. I want to fly around this little circle here. Okay, press on that, um, and then basically um, take a look at um, select all, 
and let's put in some height okay we'll say uh, 20 meters speed uh, we'll say four four meters a second uh, heading and hover time just gonna let's take a, a bank turn okay and then uh, we'll say done on all of that good stuff okay and let's say um, let's say okay and go and do it and see what happens here and everything uh, looks good what I had put in there bank turn heading none hover time none I didn't put anything in those well that's fine okay so let's go ahead and see what happens here and it's got it in the loop mode well let's take let's turn the loop mode off for now all right here we go let's see what happens now it's uploading the information it switches to waypoints successfully and it's going over to the first waypoint height is getting up to about uh, 20 meters slowly but surely and it's doing its nice little circle and that seems to be pretty good seems to be working fine and it's going 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 around and around and around nice little bank turn there and it gets over there to the last waypoint well, let's see what it does almost there okay it's there it's keeping a nice steady height slowing down a little bit getting right on to the target uh, coordinates and seems to just be stopped there and, and just um, hovering at 20 meters now I'm going to tell it to go home again. Okay, switch to home. Go. Switch to go home. Now it seems to function. Let's close up this little window here. Now it seems to be functioning. okay and it starts to land let's put that on cancel at about 10 meters we're going to cancel that okay good canceled it at 10 meters she's still coming down i guess it needs to send over there the information let's see what happens if it gets the information and flies back up Okay, it seems to be that it just stops at 6.5, even though I stopped it earlier than that. All right, well, that's good. Now what I'd like to do is uh, land the craft, auto landing, okay? And we're switching to landing now. Now on the um, A2, uh, BTU LED I'm getting it looks like five violet flashes and two blue flashes I guess four violet and two blue flashes, which I'm not sure what those four violet flashes are for. Okay, so I've landed the craft. Now I want to, I want to put in another waypoint. Let's go to single waypoint again, and let's put another waypoint here. This is all good. Let's say go. Okay, please switch to GPS. Go ready. Go mode. 
Now it's still in the mode, it's still in the landing mode for some reason. Um, maybe it needs to be switched out of this mode before. Okay, here it goes now. It's going into the into the single waypoint mode. Heading over there, it's only at 5.6. Okay, it's going up, slowly going up as it gets to the waypoint. I guess what happens uh, in this situation is is that it it doesn't fly up to the height and and then go. It seems to you know fly fly in the direction and then ascend at the same time. So. It got to the single waypoint. Okay. And it appears to be that it's hovering. There, I would say. It's in the single waypoint mode. Now, if I hit the home button, go home button, say go, it says switch to go home. And the craft is now heading home. Now it seems like, you know, it, it is really just that initial mode in flight simulation that seems to be an error. Okay, it's auto landing. Let's go ahead and let it land. I mean, it's not the correct uh, go home position. Uh, it's not the correct home position. As you can see, you know, it's still 20 meters away from where it actually is and where it was initially showing that it was in the beginning of the video. Uh, in, the, in the beginning of starting all of this, but that's what's happening, um, and those those are the you know I get the the, the two uh, warnings that pop up there. That's that doesn't seem right, and then I get the uh, the craft uh, moving by you know about 17 meters away from where it actually should be. Um, but that's about it. Um, Everything else, you know, seems to be okay. Um, now, it has landed, but yet, you know, even though it has landed, it says mode landing. So let's go ahead and um, it doesn't look like there's any way that I can actually cancel out of that mode. Um, we'll see. What happens if I click on... Well, I don't know what else. I don't know what else really to click on here. Um, hey, what's that screen? Well, that's it for now. I think uh, I'll send this over 